Cochrane syndrome is a very rare human genetic disease that uh, a patient uh, gets from both of its parents. Uh, and it's characterized uh, by a striking sensitivity to sunlight generally and, uh, and, and also a delay in meeting a certain milestones mentally and also physically. And we think, uh, we know it's due to a defect, an inborn defect, in the ability to repair damage from your DNA. And as a consequence, they may either show cancer at a young age or may accelerate aging. And Cochrane syndrome falls in the second category, where you see accelerated aging occurring at a very young age. Children already show a number, not all, but a number of features of accelerated aging. The mix of children with Cochrane syndrome uh, is vast. And so some of the children are born with cataracts and they're very small and they're very stiff and they're quite an easy diagnosis. Then the next category of children um, don't develop on time, although they are the right birth weight and they do start to develop okay and then that tails off. Um, they're slightly easier to diagnose. And then the next category, um, walk on time, talk on time, but they have small statures and smaller heads. So, um, so diagnosis is very difficult for some of the doctors because it could be a multitude of other things and the only test that they had in the UK or they have had in the UK is a test what, that tests um, skin samples and what they were testing for was to see if uh, kids are photosensitive and some of kids that have cocaine syndrome aren't photosensitive so they've also now developed a test that will look at blood and will look at um, mutations in the blood and it's there's, there's mutations occurring all the time that are connected with cocaine syndrome and that are just being found. Basically we're interested to understand why DNA damage causes cancer on the one hand and how DNA damage causes aging on the other hand and then we know already that it does but we do not really know how and we believe that if we know how DNA damage causes aging that we also have a way to do something about it. So Amy and Friends is a charity that has been set up to support children and families with a premature aging condition called Cochrane Syndrome. We also help other children that have got life-limiting illnesses that are connected to Cochrane Syndrome. And um, we provide support, information, um, we're helping with research programmes and equipment when we can. I found out about Amy and Friends uh, by Googling Cochrane Syndrome. Um, when we first um, were having our children investigated, um, they were one of the first uh, sites that came up and we got in touch and uh, sent an email to, to Jane and um, they got back in touch and it was, it was lovely and we had lots of banter and emails and uh, exchanging stories and it was, it was really wonderful finding a family that was like us. When I thought Amy had cocaine syndrome it took us 15 years to find out that she did and we had to have a trip to America and then in the room here today, we've got one family from Germany that are diagnosed with cocaine syndrome and there's only one family in the whole of Germany. There's 81 million people in Germany, so there are children there that are just dying and they don't know what's wrong with them and they just can't get any help. So, you know, numbers means a huge thing. If there's only a few of you, the medical profession and the government are less likely to help you, but if there's lots of you, obviously they're more likely to help you. And our kids are ticking time bombs, they desperately need that help. Because cocaine syndrome is such a rare syndrome, the chances of coming across another parent, another child with that syndrome out in the, in the general population is so small. Whereas in this environment, it allows you to be able to uh, discuss things which up to now have only ever been um, things that we've encountered um, you know, it's like all the specialists who you deal with, um, most of them have never seen cocaine before and so in this, in this environment it's just, it just makes life so much easier really because you realise that you're not alone. You can, you, 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 you can work with these other parents and you, you, when you're talking to them you get to, um, you realise that what you're going through isn't just unique to yourself. 
a family walked in, their son is five years old and they've never seen anybody before with cocaine syndrome and when she walked in she just stepped back and she was absolutely amazed and to be able to talk to a mum like that who has never met anybody like her son um, you know is a huge thing five years of isolation isn't great mine was 15 years so I know exactly how she feels and we can offer support and advice and the kids all suffer from um, similar issues and so somebody may have found something that will help one issue that will help you know lots of different children so it's great to be able to share advice and, and, and that information. As medical science progresses we are discovering and diagnosing more and more children with CS and the bigger a support group the better for all the families for the children uh, we're all facing the inevitable with our children and so just the camaraderie and the support that we can give one another is truly important, inspirational. It's just a must. We've got to spread the word all over the world. If your child has been queried with cocaine syndrome or your child is having um, difficulties with growth or failure to thrive and has a small head, you know, get in touch with us please because we can help you and that there is lots more that's, that's becoming known about cocaine syndrome. Don't, don't be alone, you know, it's not a great feeling being alone and when we're together, you know, as I've, as I've said, the love that we share amongst each other is absolutely amazing.